the game. Yeah, he's actually about to hit level 4. He's got the level 2 Kraken shell. He's actually getting impossible to kill now. I um, mean, look how aggressive he's going as well. He's just waltzing past the tower now. Suneko will come in, but Yoku making his way towards Artstyle. Artstyle's got to be careful here. Yoku absolutely just not caring at all about the fact that there's three heroes of Na'Vi onto him. He'll start to walk away now. Maybe Na'Vi can go for this. Yoku's trying to turn back towards Artstyle. He's trying his best to, to play with Na'Vi as much as he can, but it looks like he may go down here finally. Pops the fair part. Did you run by Yoku? He's done it. Gets himself first blood. And Na'Vi. V having a lot of issues there with the Tide, Ben. The AA is supposed to be okay at dealing with him with the magic damage from the Chilling Touch, but he didn't have it off cooldown for a really long time. The Bounty Hunter is pretty underleveled at this point, and Slark is just not that great versus the Tide Hunter. I'm surprised they threw so much at him. On this point as well, VP trying to make a go on to General. No fear rolls across, the skill's on point. And a second kill for VP. The Tide's got more CS than the Slark. He's about to hit onto level 6. Uh, this is a, a really tricky situation here for Na'Vi. Uh, well, mid lane trying to make a go on to Denzi. No fear. Rolls in. Gets the stun off. And with the Siphon, they'll be able to do a great job of this one, VP. Another kill for them. 3-1. Yeah, FNG's been doing a really good job of running around. He was in the mid lane. He threatened the Juggernaut while they were preoccupied with the Tide up top. And now, oh, nice hit. They're going to manage to potentially find themselves another with the slow chasing down Seneco. No no help at all, of course, for this bounty hunter. And Virtus Pro just beating Na'Vi to pieces here in this early laning stage. And Yoku's got a Ravage. Digiroth's got to be careful. Yoku can even try and maybe go for a kill if the positioning's right. Just playing around it. He's, he's teasing at the moment with the tentacles. Yeah, but they will force him back. Oh, yeah, Yoku is having an absolutely excellent time here. Mid lane, Dendi trying to make a go on to Gene. Looks like he will get away with this one. So Dendi finally finding himself a bit of positive action there in the mid lane. It does come online that quickly, but he's still got to try and create space. And being able to get the, the kill on the enemy mid will boost his levels, be able to get him online a bit faster. And maybe Na'Vi can start doing something to slow down these heroes. Oh, this is nice as well. They go straight in with FNG. Pops the smoke screen to make sure no dark pack will be there for Dijirar. Easy ravage here for Yoku. And now VP is chasing down Suneko. We'll see how aggressive they want to go here. No fear. Is he, I don't think he's going to roll into this one. The game passed 30 minutes but all the meanwhile VP have this great combination that is uh, it, it excels at being able to get quick pick offs like here's the infest bomb immediate jump onto Suneko not a chance for the bounty hunter it's as you said you, they jump on anyone and there's nothing that you can do to stop it as Na'Vi I think Blitz pointed out like that during the panel there was something about what he liked about Na'Vi was the fact that they bought into some kind of philosophy and this is definitely the wrong philosophy here. Oh, look at this, Dendi just being forced right back. G pops the exorcism, ready to move in, finish off this tier 1. TP is starting to come through. Ice Still ball. He's going to be on point. Looks like there's the actual flyby call out G and they should have a good chance of bringing him down though and they will. They'll take down the Death Prophet. Tichirat turning up as well. FNG to fall. So Na'Vi, they will lose the tower. But finding two kills this time. And a big one as well, taking down G on that Death Prophet. And VP have to be more careful about the 10 minute timing. This is, they just bought the Tome on the AA, they got him level 6, and the farm you. And did that just opens up the window for the Riki infest combo, which they're gonna go for again here. I think Blink's a little bit better, personally. Now Suneko again caught out by this combination. I see if uh, any kind of backup's gonna come through and it won't. Na'Vi lose another. VP in position to now finish off this tier 1 in the mid lane. Ben, is, it the, uh, is it the Ice Blast? Is that um, why you prefer? Mostly because of the Ice Blast, but also because I think their team fight strong enough without the mech. They can still okay. beat Na'Vi without the mech, and they even with track, I still think VP will come out ahead regardless. So it's just so they can push T2s with a lot more confidence and jump Na'Vi. Yeah. Tichara actually trying to make a jump in onto G. This Ice Blast, it could be big as well. Flying through. It's going to catch all three. They'll take down one, and now General comes in with a two-man crush. No fit to fall as well. Na'Vi, they've taken down two. They'll get a lot of dust as well. Three kills for Na'Vi. It may even be more. They've got the track out onto the Ricky. Tricks of the trade for the time. But that crit from Dendi brings him down as well. They do lose their slug, but Na'Vi finding four there off the back of a, a fantastic Ice Blast. And, and look at the money as well. A 3k gold swing there, Cap. He's not able to do any sort of damage. He didn't even pop her exorcism for that fight. Now they have the Blink Dagger on Tidehunter, but he's tracked up at this point. Yeah, for example, like just look at the way that newbie play around with the tight hunter, right? They put the they bring the tight hunter as soon as he's level six, and they just bully down towers because nobody wants to fight into that. It's supposed to be this overwhelming advantage, but VP are just letting it waste for some reason. Smoke from uh, VP is actually going to catch out Suneko, and they'll take him 
Another death on this bounty hunter has been caught out a fair few times, but as you've been pointing out, as long as there's still the potential for him to get tracks out in future team fights, the bounty's still going to do his job, even though he's dying a fair bit. Yoku jumps in onto Denny. The smoke screen follow up, so no escape here for the juggernaut. And BP find it. It's a one-man ravage, but it's it's a ravage worth spending, I guess, Cap, for that juggernaut kill. Because of their poor positioning and poor decisions in team fights, like some of the things they've just done is they've like been wrong. Now they have to worry about teacher Raw, and he's got the Shadow Blade who just pops G just like that. I mean, this combination, as we're seeing, whether it be, you know, Slark jumping in, or actually gonna get caught out here. Yoku does have a Ravage. He's holding on for it for the time being. Dijara passes away. Jumps in, but FNG's there with a low hard dance. They'll take down Dijara. Now trying to move in for more. See if they can get it. They've got the Dust on Snake. A Ravage from Yoku catches both of them out. Suneko to fall. Artstyle's gonna go down as well. And this time, VP fighting with the coordination that they need against Na'Vi. That was a nice touch, kicking the life stealer in. Yeah. <laughs> get him a little bit closer to that ancient. Average. But if they aren't under the effects of Ice Blast, then it will be pretty as well. He can remove Amp off himself, but that's not a big deal. Coming over. Eyes on the pit, General. Trying to do his best to ward them off. Getting Roshan low. FNG moving forward. Drops down the smoke screen outside of it. The Na'Vi now looks to take this one. It doesn't like if he can do anything about this. The Crush Ice Blast onto FNG. This is going to be a dead man for sure, and they've taken it down. They'll get the Aegis onto Denzi. Now Na'Vi moving in for the fight. A lot of us the rage. Start to retrieve, but the Omni Slash coming through. In fact, it's bringing Dendi up to the high ground. He's got a lockdown onto GG with the Yules, holding back the Juggernaut. General should be able to get a jump on this, and he does. Gets in with the crush. The pounce follow through with Dijara. They'll take a second. VP being forced back, and just a little that? bit too late to the party there, where they tried to contest Rocheban. Uh, smoke from VP. Full team moving in onto the top lane, seeing if they can catch out anyone on the side of NRV. Snake has already TP'd out, so Dendi is on his own. And we'll find him out. Is there any escape for the man? He's just going to go for the Blade Fury TP, and it's successful. So a failed gank from VP and unable to find anything with that smoke. Yeah, look at that. I mean, even if somehow uh, Vertis Pro managed to get the vision first on the Juggernaut and led with the silence of the Earth Spirit, he still manages that off, spins, TPs out. This is what we're talking about. Oh, the nice fight so is going to come straight in onto General, forces himself down. Trying to look to retreat, and he's actually going to get himself out here. Na'Vi, are they in a position to go back in? Smoke stream will hold back Dijara, stunned from No Fear as well. Let's see if Na'Vi can continue to chase. Dijara, ready to front line at the same time. They've got to be careful. Yoku's got a Ravage with the Ice Bars coming in. There is uh, the Ravage coming out, and Na'Vi's starting to crumble. They've lost General. A lot of Nuts will fall in return. Magnetize coming through No Fear as well. It's doing a lot against Na'Vi, but they'll fight for it. Take down a second. They'll jump forward onto Dendi. Yoku should be able to finish this one off as well. The Ghost chasing him down, Dendi looks to just get himself out, and he will. Dendi escapes, in fact, he's thinking about coming back in, he's still got an Omni Slash available. They've now lost three on the side of BP, Seneca falling over there, Jeromni, on to G, Dendi coming back with a sliver of help, does it there, and secures the team fight for Na'Vi. Could actually be initiated on and still win a team fight quite easily, but they've lost their advantage, and now they need to, to find it back, and just oh, opportunities. Okay, Na'Vi might get the perfect wraparound onto BP, jumping in, General holding us the crush, now it comes out to Yoku. Ice Blast will connect as well, Aloha does. Jumping out, there's your Ravage, onto three. VP, they found one, the smoke screen as well, catching Seneko and Dendi out. They've got to back themselves up, Dendi's got an Omni, will pop it, trying to turn around this fight. G's there with the Exorcism, Dendi looking to chase down Aloha with the defuse of the crush. Coming out onto four, they're taking down themselves a second, and Dendi looking towards Yoku, but he's got to run now. Dendi in dire straits, trying to get himself out of it. Yoku jumping forward. Dendi, can he actually get himself away from this? It's looking, he needs, he needs a back. Up. The Yule setup is there from G, and VP should look to take the jug. Dendi's making the work for it, but the ghosts come through, and they'll find themselves a third VP. So, even though it looked like Na'Vi were going to have the wraparound on that smoke, yeah, VP moving in, but it has been scanned out by Na'Vi. We'll see how well they're able to play around this one, heading towards the, the northern tree line. See if they want to come back in, or if it's just going to be Na'Vi disengaging. In fact, the silence is going to be to draw, but he hits onto the stun, getting the shadow dance out with the ice bars from Arnstall onto G. We'll see if Na'Vi can turn this fight around. Omni Slash coming out from Dendi. No fear being pulled low, and they'll take the Earth Spirit. G with the Ghost, the PKB up. He's got to be careful, using himself, but Na'Vi still with a full five man, looking to fight here. Jumping forward onto G. The Ravage from Yoku coming out, but it doesn't look like it matters. Dendi with the Blade Fury, takes down G. Now Dijara, can he get himself away? He can, pounces away from Yoku. A low hard arms caught out by the crush. Dendi and Alistar oh. hot on his case. A third kill for Na'Vi, and they lose nothing in this fight. Did Yoku not have Ravage up at the start of the fight? He could have gotten at least two. I think even just killing a Stark at that point is pretty good, because you don't want to fight into the Aegis. Oh, Yoku's in trouble, can they get the crush? Oh, yes, they no, can. The gem to... Now it's the beginning of the end. Yeah, it really is.
Unless Yoko can somehow... No, there's no way. Yeah, there's no chance. Yeah. He had to get some sort of Guardian Greaves, blink into trees, and then... Oh, it yeah, lives long enough for Suneko to come in and get the track kill as well. That's yeah. nice of him. <laughs> Feeding that extra gold. FNGs trying to grab the gem, but oh no, oh. Suneko. He's like, okay, another try kill it is. Thank you, FNG. I mean, FNG, he's he's been in a few uh, questionable positions, hasn't he, Ben? <laughs> I think Dendy's leading a chance yeah. for his boys. <laughs> Here we go. Though. I mean, VP, how do they hold against... Uh, I mean, how good is Na'Vi's high ground push, the high ground break? Because I'm looking at VP, they've got, they've got a lot of things that are hard to jump into. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, wasting uh, your Ravage is not... Uh, it, yeah. Uh, not what you need to do. All right. I mean, they might still get the kill. They will still get it. It was calculated. The Ravage, it was all to set that one up. Na'Vi, they're going to jump back in. Look at the G with the self kill so done. Throws in the ice pass. G, where's your BKB now? No way that that's going to save him against the physical damage of Na'Vi as they take down a second. Trying to get himself out. No fit. He'll be able to get himself back to base. But uh, things just look to be a bit of a shambles here for VP. Cal Wait. BP, maybe like an Abyssal, I think, on Life Stealer, if he can ever get it. This can maybe help kill people during Infest Bombs, but the four steps continue to prove to be an issue. Oh, look how see Generals. I think the Courage did just put him out. It did. They'll jump straight back into him. General, trying to be sneaky. And that's the jump. Okay, <laughs> Bird is Pro, get a little... I mean, that's a free pick off where they didn't have to use either one of their big ultimates. Chain stun. So, if they have Life Stealer do a lot of damage with two Ravages, maybe they can kill like two people at the start of the fight. But if Navi, like, pop their BKBs, preemptively or spin on the juggernaut or have ages and cheese to take the ultimates then hostile coming very deep across and immediately vp looking to punish but the omni from dandy not quite gonna finish up the ricky uses the ult to dodge it ravage coming through as well they take it down hostile eyes on to dandy but dandy blade through his starts to retreat vp they've already lost two and the rest of navi are moving in infest into yoku he's looking to get that life stealer out of there and he will do g though he's been left behind pops the bkb but again it's not gonna save the man prolongs the inevitable with the yule scepter but it's a Third kill for Na'Vi. Yeah, G tried to come in through the back and... Yeah, we'll see. Uh, then they can just simply go for a, another push straight down the bottom or something, can't they, Ben? Mm-hmm. Most certainly. But VP... Here they go. Okay, they're scanned out as well. They know that Na'Vi are waiting for them here. How do they wrap around this? They don't they have the Ravage. I have no idea how they win oh, this. G. He just used the yeah, spell on an illusion. They're still going to jump into general, but the BKB is popped. Our star with the ice bus coming through and catches out one, but at the same time with the Omni Sash bringing G low, G using himself. General trying to get him out to the side. They've lost no fear. And now Yoku being chased down by Denzi. Ditra jumping across, looking to finish off G. A second for Na'Vi. And eyes onto FNG. Jumps himself out, but Denzi's there with the crit. Godlike streak now for the jug. Four dead on VP. And GG is called. It was yeah. all too much at the end of the day for Na'Vi. And after after a good start for VP, it just all went downhill, Cap. Yeah, it certainly did. I think if you look at this, Virtus Pro, like if they talk about it going into game number two, it's the mistakes for the first like 15, 20 minutes, right? That That's the part of the game where you truly lost. Everything else was just, it was kind of expected at that point. You had to be able to win the game the 